So in the previous video about the linked list, we added some elements to the linked list and we iterated over every single one of them. Now, as you can see, the part where we add elements to a linked list is kind of not great because you keep on having uh, next arrow, next arrow for every single element you want to add. And that's just, that's just bad, right? So what I want in this video is to create a function that inserts elements inside our linked list. Right, so we're gonna start, we, we can decide where to insert those elements, right? So as a start point, we're gonna simply try to add an element at the end of the list, right? So right after the element that has its next pointer equal to null, instead of setting it Instead of leaving it be null, we're gonna actually uh, add a pointer to the next node that we're gonna add, all right? So let's start by creating the function itself. We want a function that doesn't return anything. Uh, let's call it insert at the end, right? And it should take in the root as a parameter because that's how we're gonna know that what the linked list is. And I'm actually going to take a double pointer to the root. You're gonna see why in a moment. I'm gonna say here node double pointer root. And well, I just want the value that I want to add, right? Just simply the x value of the node that we want to add, not the node itself, because that we can create ourselves without any issues. Okay, so how do we actually add it? Well, the, the the process is very simple. All you have to do is really get to the last node and change the next pointer to be a pointer to your newly created node. That's all. So let's start first by creating our new node, right? We can say here node pointer new node. Let's say new node equals. I'm gonna allocate a memory using a malloc size of node, then I'm going to say new node, arrow uh, next equals null, because that's going to be our, since we're adding at the end, the new node is going to be the end of our list, right? So that's why I'm setting it, I'm setting it to null. Then we have new node, arrow x equals, well, our new value that we're adding to the list. All right, so this is our new node. As you can see, I'm getting an uh, actual uh, warning here that says that the referencing null pointer new node. That's because malloc can return null. So whenever you're using malloc or malloc or whatever else, you should check if this guy is null or not. Because for example, there might not be enough memory in your computer to allocate uh, the size you're giving here. All right. So you should just do a simple check if new node is null then I'm going to simply exit with the error code one, All right? So this is basically a return from the whole uh, program, right? So it's just gonna basically stop its execution there and return with the exit code one, right? It's as if I returned one inside the main function, but since we're not in the main function, I'm just gonna use exit. All right, so now we have our new node. It's properly created, it's nice, but right now it's just a block, it's just a node. And it's there and doesn't, it's not linked to anything, right? It's just up in the air. So we have to use our root here. Now, don't worry about the syntax of double pointers. What's, what's a node double pointer? A node double pointer is a node pointer to another pointer, basically. So we have an arrow that if you dereference it, that basically points to another arrow, right? And then, this arrow points to our node itself, our root, right? So when you dereference this guy, you get to this guy. But when you dereference them both, you actually get to the node. What's the next step? Well, the next step is to use our, uh, our loop to iterate over the whole list and get to the end uh, node because we don't have the end node anywhere in our program. As you can see, we just have the root, the first node. 
So to do this, we're just going to use our uh, our uh, iteration algorithm that we previously talked about. So something like this, as you can see, uh, current is still a node pointer, but because root is a double pointer, I have to first dereference it once so that I get to that arrow, basically I get to that arrow that points to our node itself. And I'm also changing the exit condition of the while loop because I don't want to actually end up with this guy being null because if this guy is null, I cannot really change anything. I really want to end up with after the loop, I want to end up with this guy being the last node. So when I dereference it, I can actually use it, not just because I cannot dereference a null value, a null pointer. That's why current dot next is different than null. That's what the exit condition is and not just current different than null. Right. So once we're at the last node, we should have it inside our current variable. Now we can simply modify it. So now we know that current arrow next is null. So we're gonna change it to be not null, to be our new node or the address to our new node, right? Since this is still a pointer, right, that points to our new node, we just make this arrow, we just put this arrow inside our uh, last block from the linked list. And then, well, we don't need to change the value. So that's basically all there is to it because we have uh, the value in our new node here set. The next pointer is null, so that's correct. And then this guy has a value, probably set from before, it's just that the next uh, pointer was not was set to null. So we had to change it so that it now, the whole linked list, instead of just pointing to the current, which was the previous uh, last node, now points to also uh, up to actually our uh, newly created node. Right. So now what I can do is delete much of this so that we only have um, our root created. So I'm gonna just delete all this and say root.next equals null because Right, I want just a single node inside our list and that node is the root and it's also the last node of our list. That, that's just how it is right now. And I also want to change the way the root is stored inside memory. Right now, as I said, this guy is, stack, this, this guy is um, located on the stack, right? Because I'm saying here node root, not just a pointer, not just malloc. I want to change that to be dynamically allocated this time due to the fact that I need a double pointer here. That's why. Uh, and I cannot do address of address of root. All right, so I'm gonna change this to a node pointer root. That's going to be equal to malloc of size of node. And I'm just gonna change these to arrows so that it dereferences the actual root, All right? That's the difference between dot and arrow is that arrows also dereference the pointer, whereas dot, you don't have a pointer. You just uh, get the uh, struct member of that variable, which is not a pointer. Right, so now we have our new root. We should change all these here, but these frees are no longer valid. So I'm gonna simply remove them for now. For now, keep in mind, we still have some memory leaks because we have Emma locks without freeze. We're gonna get to that. And we should also change the for loop so that instead of the address of root is just actually root here because now it's a pointer, right? And current is a pointer, root is a pointer. We can just assign one to another. And again, the ID is warning me about that. So you have to change the code here so that it checks if it's null or not. Okay, I'm gonna exit with, let's say two this time, doesn't really matter. This usually doesn't happen, but in production code, you really want to check for this because otherwise it's very, very difficult to track down, right? So once this guy is null and if there's any code in between when you do malloc and uh, actually using it, uh, 
many things could go wrong in between, right? And it's kind of hard to figure out that, oh, this exact uh, variable didn't allocate properly. All right, so root null exit two, and now we're assigning. And well, if I try to run this now, well, not much is gonna happen. We're just gonna get 15, right? Because we didn't use our insert end function. So we're gonna try to use it. I'll say here, insert at the end. Well, I want a double pointer to node, which is our root. So basically I need to take the address of this pointer. Remember this pointer itself, its value is on the stack, right? You have, what do you have here? You have an arrow to a node. This node here is, ni is nice, it's no longer on the stack, it's on the heap. It's dynamically allocated using malloc. nice. But this pointer itself, this arrow, its value is on the stack, right? But what I want to send to the actually to the function is the place in memory where this arrow is stored. So I'm just gonna do that. Address of root. And then I'm gonna add the value, let's say, I don't know, let's say negative two. And let's call it again with let's say eleven. Now if I try to run this, you'll notice I get 15, negative 2, and 11 in order. In the order that I've basically added them because first was just 15 and then uh, the next node got created and it was the one that had the value negative 2 and so on and so forth. Now we know that our insertion algorithm works for the most part. One thing that it doesn't really take into consideration is if the linked list is empty, if we have no elements, right? An array can also have no elements in the sense that it doesn't have any initialized elements, right? Same thing with a linked list, it can have nothing. How do you denote that? Like, how do you say that, okay, this guy is, has nothing in it? Well, there are, there are some different ways you can do this. Uh, one that I really like is just simply saying that root is null. Since this is a pointer, we can set it to null and that denotes that there's nothing there. So I'm gonna comment all this and we're gonna do here null pointer root equals null. So we have no elements and we have no elements and we're adding negative two and 11. Um, without the insertion, without inserting anything, by the way, if we just run this, You'll notice that the program doesn't crash. It works, the for loop, the iteration works because, why? Because current equals root. Since root is null, well, the exit condition has already been achieved. So we're just gonna uh, check the end exit condition. We know that current is null. So this is false. So it's gonna just exit the for loop. It's not gonna print anything. So this works, nice. Uh, now, inserting any elements, if you try to run this, it's going to break. It's gonna break the program, of course, because we didn't take into consideration anything related to our root. We just uh, take the pointer and as you notice, we passed in here, what did we pass when we said uh, at root? We passed a, a uh, an arrow to an arrow that says point to the address zero, which is, it's an arrow that's basically, let's say it's red, it's invalid. Hmm. So the referencing it once, it's fine because this arrow itself is valid. So that's okay. But right, so doing this is fine. We get this arrow, which is a null pointer, basically, it, it looks at some invalid uh, memory, right at the beginning of our memory. Not invalid memory, but you don't have read access for it, probably. And here, you're trying to dereference it, right? Because arrow says dereference current and, right, dereference current and take the next uh, pointer. S since current is our 
this guy, this arrow that points to the beginning of our memory, which you cannot dereference, it's going to break. So we have to take that into consideration. How? That's actually very simple. All you have to do is check if our if our current, if our root is null. So I'm going to say here if root dereferenced once, right, because we have two arrows. We don't care about this guy if uh, this guy should be valid, right? But this guy might or might not be valid depending on if there's any elements on the list or if there's none, right? If there's none, this case null. So if, if uh, dereferencing root gets us null, then what we want to do is to place something that's valid instead of null, right? We can simply say here, dereference root equals to our new null and make that the beginning, the end, and our new node that we add. Why does that work? Again, a double pointer to node is an arrow to an arrow, right? So it's this arrow pointing to this arrow pointing to our node, which is this guy is invalid, sort of points to nothing. But this guy points to something, points to that place in memory where our address for the root is stored. So we can, using this pointer, we can point to that memory and change it, right? So by changing it, now it points to a valid place in memory which represents a node. So once we've added it, we know that we don't have to add it again, so we can just say return here. And of course, it's, if it's not null, it can continue on as before. So if I insert this guy and try to execute it, you'll notice I get negative two. So I just get that one element added in here. I hope you understood what's going on with um, adding elements to a linked list that does have no elements, right? This is why we passed in here a double pointer to node. Um, and now if I, for example, if I add more elements, that, that should be fine and dandy. If I try to run this, bam. So this video is already quite long. So in the next videos, we're gonna take a look at first how to deallocate this memory because remember we removed two calls to our uh, free function which deallocates our memory. We currently have the malloc here without any free calls, which is bad, which is really, really, really bad. Uh, so we have to fix that first. And then in another video, we're going to take a look at way uh, how to insert at the beginning of a list or in the middle of it, or even have it all sorted out, right? Uh, let's say ascending or descending, however you want to. All right. So I hope this video was useful. If you do have any questions, regarding this exact function, because it, it is a bit complicated, but if you do have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below or on our Discord server where I'm mostly online there and I'm gonna reply in less than 12 hours or so. All right, thanks for watching and I see you guys next time. Bye.